morning, dear Swissies. Today we'll visit the Engstlen See, a very nice lake with very nice colors right now. I just show you the area a little bit. Okay, enjoy. We have six o'clock in the morning. It is time for Alp Glow. Yeah. The sun is soon at the highest point of uh, its sunrise. Yeah, and that's why, because the mountains, or most of the mountains, have alp glow. I was here about one month ago, and there was still a lot of snow here. Yeah, but now mountain spring arrived. No one. And here is the lake. We go down there. It is quite cold up here. I don't know, we have about 8 degrees and we came from about 20 degrees. Yeah, but now you are ready for the lake, huh? You maybe want to know on which altitude we are. We are on 1850 meters above sea level. That's why it is so cold <laughs> up here. Yeah. But such a nice place, isn't it? Huh? What do you think about it? I love to come here in the early mornings because then there is no one here. Sometimes some fishermen or fisherwoman. <laughs> yeah, today you have to be correct. And uh, but at this time, normally there is no one. For your orientation, here is the Titlis. Ah, oh. we could hike up there, <laughs> but we don't want to. <laughs> it's too far away. Look at my vision, huh? As I told you, there are some fisher people <laughs> over there. Yeah, fishing their lunch, maybe. <laughs> This is a nature protecting area. So as I said before, dogs had, has to be, have to be on the leash. And uh, it is not allowed to do camping or something else. Yeah. We hike now a little bit to this side. Yeah, we are rust, I can probably run free. Yeah, I think the the nature protecting zone is over there. <laughs> if you are not sure if you have uh, to take your dog on the leash because of nature protecting area, mostly it is written on a sign spot where the area is. And uh, you can also go uh, on the link. Uh, what is map.geo.admin. I will show the link uh, in the description. But you can see everything there. So just have a look around. Mostly there are big sign spots 
where you can see where you can walk free or uh, where it's not allowed to, to walk. Gal, it's so simple. If you would hike to this area, you will reach Tonolp, Tonnen Lake, and finally Melchsefrut. And when we look to the other direction, you could hike up here for about one hour to Jochpos. Yeah, there is also a cable car, but I'm not sure if this cable car is running in summer. Yeah, you should check out the, the website of, I don't know, Engelberg or Melchsefrut or, I don't know, Ingmo Wieses and Juxee. But hiking is healthy, so hike up. <laughs> this is how the sign spot looks like of the protected area. Yeah, there's someone doing a joke. It's not allowed to do all these things. Uh, you need to stay on the paths. You shouldn't go there with uh, <laughs> cars and bikes and motorbikes and yeah. And your dog must be on the leash. So is das. Now Rasta is allowed to walk legally free. Rasta, how does it feel like? Huh? And this is now the lake from the other side. Psst. Hop, hold your truck. Yeah. The sun is coming now and I'm trying to do a nice picture with the sun, with the reflection here. But uh, the lake has other things to do. <laughs> but this is normal. When the sun is coming, then the air is different, you know. There is some dynamic and uh, then we need to wait until yeah, it's slowing down again. And then we have the reflections back, hopefully. Yeah, the lake is already calming down again. So I can try my picture. Huh? That was a really nice short trip to Engschlensee. Huh? And now we go home again. Yeah, people are coming. <laughs> it's time to go home. We take a last glimpse of this wonderful area. Maybe you remember when I was here the last time, I was talking about some amazing waterfalls coming out of the rocks. And look now, yeah, the water is running. Cool, huh? <laughs>